Hey, Tyler, Theater Design Company. So we're gonna show you how we lit up these LED stairs. Hey, Happy New Year. This is the first video of 2024. We're gonna try to uh, post more frequently, get a little bit better content going here. So this one's gonna be super detailed on how we lit these stair sets up. Uh, they're using cob lighting, uh, which is an LED lighting. They're inside of aluminum extrusions. They look absolutely awesome at night, as you can see. And we've got a real detailed video here with exactly how we did it, what parts we used, how you can do it, and hope this helped you out. Thanks a lot. All right, so let's jump down to my office. I've got a few of the uh, features we uh, used to get this thing going, and I'll show you how we wired it all in. Okay, so I've got this kind of pre-set up. Hopefully uh, I can jump through this and do it in kind of one take. Uh, a lot of stuff going on here though. So as you can see, I've kind of got our previous mock-up. This is the mock-up I did when I first built the stair set. So it's got the luminous excursion. It's got the uh, stair shop bull nose that we had made. So we put new wood floors in last year and we had the, all these bull noses made for all the stairs. And then of course I was gonna light it up because I'm in the technology plus the architectural side of things. And so what we're doing is we've got lumina extrusion, as you can see, that has a cob lighting. So cob is a chip on board lighting, a uh, real thin profile. It almost looks like LED lighting. You can use it without uh, diffusers and uh, you know lenses and all that. I prefer to do an extrusion with a nice diffuser lens, you know, frosted. Uh, regardless, that's what's inside that lumina extrusion, and so works pretty well. Running to each one of those steps, we ran 18-2 stranded wire. Definitely run stranded. I see a lot of electricians running solid. Don't do solid. It does add some resistance to it. It's just not a good idea. And the main thing is it's super hard to solder solid wire. So if you want to solder your connections, you're not going to do it very well with sol solid. So stranded is the way to go. So show you that. Other thing I wanted to jump into real quick here is that same extrusion can do like a 50 50 rgbw so if you wanted to do rgbw i know this is stair lighting and it it's uh you know the warm white 2700k you see in the video but you could do an rgb full color change that's going to do more of like an 18.5 18.6 stranded wire so we buy this in big spools of 500 feet um, and this is the best wire for it again no solid wire no don't use solid wire and then i'm going to jump ahead but on the american lighting spectrum if you went with stair lighting that was full color, you'd end up doing something like this, which is their smart receiver, 24 volt in, RGBW out, obviously your power. So that setup there would go onto a different type of video. I've got one with Cove video lighting coming up that's going to show that. And so jumping back into this. So what we're doing on this thing to light up our lights there is we've got a wall control. We've got door window sensor we got a motion sensor and then on the back side of things i'm going to show you the transformer we're doing and then we have a little wall control that's turning that transformer on and off so i'll get into that as well so i'm going to go ahead and get this on the tripod and then i'll uh, finish the video out okay so i've got tripod set up kind of go over the last details here so what I'm gonna do is show you how we're controlling this thing. So we've got American Lighting Output Plug. So this is actually just plugged into standard wall outlet. It's got constant power. It's got a manual power button on and off if you wanted to physically turn it off or even test it. And so this is what's sitting in our mechanical room closet. So that's what's actually turning on the transformer that's running the cob lighting. And then what we do is that is most of the stuff we're doing, we'll buy a TRC enclosure from TRC Electronics. And so then we can put a 24 volt power supply in there. This one's from Meanwell. And I don't have it wired up. It's actually a customer project here. But what we end up doing is we knock these out. We'll do a standard grommet here, a grommet here. This grommet on the right, it's gonna get your 18.2. You can actually bundle these up here. So all your 18.2 stair wires can run inside this thing. You can make your termination inside this enclosure. So you have a bunch of exposed wiring. You can do some nice wire management. And then your left side is gonna have a grommet with your power pigtail out. And then your power pigtail out, it's gonna run into your smart plug. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug the smart plug back into our test demo set so you can see 
this thing work in action, but that gives you an idea of what you got going on. Okay, so went over the transformer, went over the smart plug. I'll do a couple screenshots as well at the end of the video on the uh, spectrum so you can kind of see some of the commands and conditional on how these things are turning on and off. The smart plug, for example, is sitting down in the mechanical room. I could physically press that button. The lights would turn on. It's good for testing and whatnot, but of course you're not going to go down to a mechanical room to turn your stair lights on. So the way we're doing it, this is the third way we're doing it, which we're, we could do in a future, and we may end up doing this in a couple other rooms of the home. We're doing the motion sensor portion of it, so you probably saw me walking in and out of there and turning those lights on and off, but this is actually what turns it on, and then it's set to a timer that shuts back off after 20 minutes, and then that just kind of repeats. So, for example, someone comes home 5 o'clock and it's dark. They light their pathway up into their entryway, up into the kitchen area in the main living room. They're safe. Lighting there did what it needed to do, and then after 20 minutes it shuts off until it sees motion again. And then say someone comes down at eight o'clock at night, maybe they're taking the trash out and don't want to fall down the stairs. Motion sensor picks them up, turns the lights back on for 20 minutes, and then it shuts back off. So good energy savings as well. And so we have one of those sitting up in there. And then also in the entryway, we just have a standard toggle. By the way, this is actually sensing me, so I've shut it off. I'll, I'll show you how this works before we go through. I'll flip it back around so you can see it actually turned off. And it should turn back on. It might even reflect off the white there. And so we have one of these little wall keypads in here. So that's going to turn those stair lights on. So you have a physical way to do it, just a switch. It's a smart switch. It actually can be portable, but we'll get that. Ours has got a Lutron Claro ring around it, so it looks real sharp. And then, of course, you could do off. There you go. Now, some of the other functions on there, like we talked a little bit earlier in the video, if you wanted to do the RGBW, this gives you RGBW control to cycle through. And this gives you your color temperatures to cycle through. So if you wanted to have ambient lighting or maybe you wanted to do color different temperatures, you could do that. And then on a third kind of thing, what if you wanted to put some, uh, you know, down lights in that same entryway, you could have this as a scene and hit this button. And now the down lights could work, stair lights, everything else. So pretty sharp keypad. It's nice and clean. Um, works really quick. You see it turning on, turns right back off. So pretty cool. The other way you could do it is if you were doing this in an entryway, you could just do a, their little micro door window sensor. So same thing, if I pull those apart, kicks the lights on, and then it doesn't turn them back on when you plug it in. Now you can program it that way, but again, that's not the goal. If you were to open an entryway door and you wanted to walk up your stairs, you wouldn't want that to shut the minute your stairs clo your door closed and have your lights turn right back off. So again, that 20 minute, 20 minute countdowns on these, but if someone opened the door again, it would go off, but we do the motion sensors on most of them because this stairway goes both directions. And then we do have another keypad at the top of the stairs that can also turn the stair lights on and off. So that's how that works. And so let me turn this off and I'm gonna grab my phone and make sure that the little motion sensor isn't working and then I'll flip it back around. So give me one second on that. So I'll show you this in the app real quick if you can see it. So. No one state, it's basically telling you that there's no one there. It's trying to see, figure out its status because we just flipped it back around. So it takes a little bit of time. But when we flip that thing back around, human status, there goes our lights. App tells me it turned on. Obviously you saw the lights turn on and then after 20 minutes it will turn back off. So that's just done under our smart programming settings here in the spectrum lighting. So it's super easy to program super easy to work and again see he sees human status if we were to turn this back around kind of set it to the side this will sl slide over to no so then the lights will turn back off so that's how we're doing stair lightings with the american lighting program now we did have this set up with uh, lutron before and what the lutron was doing uh, just so you know is the lutron had an occupy sensor occupy sensor would tell a lutron dimmer to turn on and that dimmer was set to 40 percent and it would just tell the transformer to kick over to 40%. Uh, and then we had a Pico RF keypad in the entryway that would again let us do our on, off, and our 40% setting. I prefer the American lighting. I think it's a little bit cleaner look, plus it's got this door window sensor. Um, so we can add these to some other lights. We're actually gonna do these same lights in the kitchen. Um, so I'll probably end up doing some cabinet lights with these. And I've got a video that's gonna show these in, in a cabinet light. I've got a video coming out that's going to show these for cove lighting and exactly how we do cove lighting. 
And then again, you got this super awesome motion sensor. See if that thing shut off, I think it has. And so it sees human status. And yeah, we didn't catch it in time, so it didn't turn back on, but it's got that count time down on 20 minutes. So again, if we wanna turn them on, they're on. So anyway, hopefully this will give you a pretty good old idea of how to do some stair lighting. Uh, maybe, you know, food for thought. And then certainly we have some other American lighting videos. You can see we've been doing a bunch of stuff with Spectrum, a uh, bunch of videos over the holiday, trying to get uh, more in tune with this and kind of learn this as well. Um, there is an absolute ton of stuff to this, including their DMX lighting, which we're doing in our new demo room. And so awesome product. Hope you like the video. Please subscribe. We're going to make a bunch of content just like this, really kind of showing stuff with the deep dive into the technology and how it works. All right. Thanks a lot. Thank <laughs> you.